Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about the end of Bendergate. Good news, everybody. John DiMaggio is returning to the revival of Futurama on Hulu. Now, that being said, I don't know if it's good news that Futurama is coming back. I think they ended it uh, pretty well, twice, as I recall. I don't think we need, I don't think we need to uh, revisit Futurama, but you know, it's Disney, right? Disney owns Fox now, they own Futurama and they're gonna milk it. They're gonna milk this robot. They're gonna milk his shiny metal ass. We're gonna talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 259,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about the animation industry. We talk about Disney. We talk about drama in Hollywood and in cartoons. And this was uh, kind of a big deal that Disney announced they were gonna bring back Futurama and they're bringing pretty much everybody back, except for John DiMaggio, who is the voice of Bender, who is arguably the most popular character on the show. Uh, they'd be hard pressed to replace him. And as I understand it, this was about the money. He wasn't real happy about what they were offering him. Of course, this is Disney under uh, Bob Chipek, so you know it might not have been might not have been that good. But uh, I think he's he's well aware that uh, Bender is the most popular character on the show, and uh, he wants to make sure he gets he gets his fair share, right? So this is coming from Variety. Futurama star John DiMaggio joins Hulu revival. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. Futurama voice actor John DiMaggio has officially signed on to the Hulu revival of the beloved animated sci-fi comedy series. Do not expect it to be what it was before. I don't think you can really do Futurama current year, especially not with Disney at the helm. So it'll be a zombified pet cemetery version of Futurama. I have no doubt. I mean, look at how milk toast The Simpsons is now under Disney. Anyway, uh, bringing the long and bitter saga known as Bendergate to a close. I'm back, baby. So damn grateful for the love and support of fans and colleagues alike during this whole time, especially my wife, Kate. And I cannot wait to get back to work with my Futurama family, DiMaggio said in a statement. Bendergate, hashtag Bendergate, is officially over. So put it on the back of a shelf uh, behind the Xmas decorations, or maybe in that kitchen drawer with all the other crap you put in there, like the old unusable crazy glue, or maybe even put it in a jar you save farts in. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, I don't care. You get the picture. I'm back, baby. Bite my shiny metal ass. So Disney, Disney ate his ass. Disney ate Bender's ass. When the revival was announced in February, fans were dismayed when DiMaggio's name was not among the list of returning original cast members. DiMaggio thanked the fans for their support, later stating that he felt uh, he and the rest of the cast deserved to be paid more, deserved to be paid more than what was offered to come back for the show. Original series cast members Billy West, Katie Segal, Tress McNeil, Maurice LaMarche, Lauren Tom, Phil Lamar, and David Herman are all returning. They're all coming back. From the moment John DiMaggio auditioned last century, we knew we had our bender said series creator Matt Groening. So congrats to everyone at Futurama. We're all, we are all back. We are all back. We're all back, baby. Uh, DiMaggio may be a great robot, but he's also a great human being, said executive producer David X. Cohen. Not many people or machines can say that for the fourth time. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thrill to be back with our entire original cast and the phenomenal animators of Rough Draft Studios. We'll see what the Disney-fied version a Futurama is like, I am not holding my breath, but then again, you know, we're getting Daredevil back uh, from Netflix. They're actually running the MA version of Daredevil on, on Disney Plus, so who the hell knows? Um, Hulu has picked up 20 episodes of the new iteration of Futurama, which hails from Graining and Cohen. Uh, production's underway. The show is expected to debut in 2023. Of course, they're going to have Rough Draft Studios. They've been doing... God, Simpsons and and uh, Futurama for decades, <laughs> decades. Um, this marks the second time the show has been brought back to life since it orig originally launched in 1999. After its initial four season run on Fox, reruns of the show found new life as part of Adult Swim. Uh, four direct-to-video films were produced, which were later re-edited into a fifth season that aired on Comedy Central in 2008. 
Comedy Central would go on to air two more seasons consisting of 26 episodes between 2010 and 2013. So it's been, it's going to be 10 years. And uh, now we're talking Disney is at the helm. Uh, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. But uh, yeah, we knew this was going to happen. I mean, they'd be really stupid not to bring Bender back. Again, most popular character. Um, I still do not have any hope for this show, but who the hell knows? Who knows? At least, you know, they've got most of the original cast back. All the original cast, I think. They've got the original showrunners back, producers back. So that's a good sign. I just don't know how much Disney is going to let them get away with. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.